Hello and welcome to Introduction to Image Processing using MATLAB, the sixth session. Today we will talk about resizing the images. So suppose I have a 1024 by 1024 8 bit image. Now we want to subsample it down to the size 32 eventually. So what we do is we first scroll across the rows and then we just leave one column. So you can see it here. So we just take the grayed out portions of the image, retain them and leave out the white portions. So ultimately what we get is half the row size and half the column size and we are able to take retain these grid um, grids to get the new image so to do it in MATLAB what we can do is I'll just first create a new script here I'll just read out the image first so I'll just take the cameraman which is a grayscale image Now once I have read this, I will take the size of this and assign it to the rows and columns. So this, these values will contain the rows and columns of the image respectively. Now once I have this, I will then initiate my indexes to 1 and j equal to 1. Now uh, the image that I want to be made, the new image, I can just assign it to zeros and the size of it would be rows divided by 2 comma columns divided by 2 because I am resizing it to half. So I want both the rows and columns to be halved. So I have a matrix of zeros now in C in which I will store the values from A which I will read. So let's take the index I'll first taking the row so for X and remember the step size would be 2 because what we eventually want to do is we want to take the first row and we just want the step size to be 2 so I'll take this then I'll take this then this and similarly for the columns I'll take these columns so for both the x and y direction the step size would be 2 so we I'll iterate through the rows then I will iterate through the columns now the new index would be cij where I'm storing these values so I have a matrix of zeros in C this will take up the values of A browsing through alternate columns and rows I will then move on to the next column so once this is done I have basically stored all the values of column um, all the values of this is here with me I had taken I had started with X or equal to 1 and I have iterated now I will end this loop I will say I is equal to I plus 1 because I want to do, move to the next I in the C so my C should move see my X is moving alternately it's like moving from 1, 3, 5, it's jumping like this. But my i and j values for the c have to move subsequently in one in consecutive fashion. So it's like 1, 2, 3 values for i. So I have taken the next value of the row and I start with the first column for the next row. So once this is done, I will end this also. Then I can just show the figures here. So I'll say, I can just say figure. I am show A. So that's my original image. I can then show the next image. That is the C. Remember, this is a double. So I will just use this trick to show it, like we discussed in the previous class. And I have the image scaled back to the normal scale that we have and I will show this image 
and I'll take the color map as gray. So let's run this. So you can see this is my original image. This is the subsampled image and this is how it looks when it's scaled up. So you know that it has lost quite a lot of information. It's looking a little blurred. We can do the same operation using inbuilt function. So I can again say maybe x is equal to I am read cameraman dot tiff. I can say maybe y is equal to and there is an inbuilt command for this. I am resize and I want it by a factor of half. So both the rows and columns will be halved like in the previous program that we did and I'll say figure I'm sure why I can also say show me the scaled image SC why I forgot the color map so I can just say and this is how it looks so we wrote program to this uh, for getting this but we can get the same figure same output by just using the inbuilt command we can resize it we can uh, maybe double it also x comma 2 so it's gonna increase it by the figure or uh, by the, a factor of and I can just display it here so you can see it's now zoomed up. So this brings us to the end of this lecture. Thank you.